On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are checking out the giants of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Huh, according to these directions, the sacred squirrel sanctuary should be right around the corner. Let's keep going, squirrels. Whoop, sure rainy out. Oh no. It's not the Squirrel Sanctuary, it's Squirrel Skull Island. Oh, why do I always get lost trying to find the sacred Squirrel Sanctuary? Look, Squirrels, it's Kong! Wow, he's so huge! But on the table, we've got the giant Kong with Beast Glove! Over there, Squirrels, it's Godzilla! Wow, so impressive in person! Pretty tall. Yeah, just watching Godzilla walk by is impressive magic. And then we also have the giant Scar King. What is that all about? This new giant ape to take on Godzilla and Kong. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh no, who's that? Is that the Scar King? No, I take that back. It's not. They just beat me into oblivion. So stay away from the squirrel sanctuary, I have to tell you. But look at these Monsterverse toys from Playmates Toys. Godzilla X The New Empire. We're going to look at Kong, Godzilla, and Scar King today. Follow along as we can see what they can do. Squirrel Stampede. Don't squish me. Share. And a squirrel live. Oh my. What say we start with Giant Kong here with B-E-A-S-T, Beast Glove. And dude, maybe be nicer to Roadkill Squirrel. He's not that tasty. Oh, it's good to have the Giants back on the table. And it's good to see Kong evolved into holding something menacing on that arm. Whoa, killer back of the box art. Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. Godzilla and Kong return in an all new adventure, pitting the almighty Kong and fearsome Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence, and our own of course. Wow, what a picture. Gotta say, the package design with this series, so electrical sharp, bolts of lightning up top, hidden world crystalline entities at the bottom just ejects this Kong out of the pack. Let's get him out though, let's see what he does. Maybe just a few hundred snips of the cords and we'll get him out. And the terrifying giant Kong out of pack. Big Gray doing his best to keep him at bay with his T-Rex claw. Look at this beast. Whoa, Giant Kong on table. That fist, that beast glove. Technological additional terror to him. Great face sculpt. Look at those scratches on his chest. And we may have new articulation on his legs. I don't recall the previous Giant Kongs having pivot points at their knees. This is incredibly cool because we'll be able to get him standing a little more monkey-like. Well, sort of monkey-like. Unfortunately, the knees do not bend enough and his head does not tilt back. Oh, that was a missed opportunity, but he is evolving. He is evolving from previous generational Kongs. I say, do you like my glove? I really do like that beast glove. It's so cool to have a little technological addition to you, Kong. Now we can easily identify what movie you came from. Kind of reminds me of the Evo suit in Aliens. Yellow construction work, gears, fingers, looks pounding powerful. So to call out the articulation on the giant Kong, we've got a head that does rotate around. Again, it would have been so superb had it had a back hinge. Also shoulders that rotate hinge out, always a little tight at first, but they're holding strong. Elbows that crack and bend nicely. This wrist should move, it's a little tight. However, this wrist on his arm, I don't think it's supposed to move. It has a joint, maybe yours does. Let us know if it does. There's a little bit of a swirl there, so it might work against in rotating. So I can't get his beast glove to rotate. Hips we've got though, and again, we've got those new knees, which give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a downward uh, push, which I like, but then he's gonna kind of tip tip down because his arms aren't long enough to reach the table, but still 
Still very animated and beautiful looking Kong. Face sculpt, really layered and electrifying, terrifying. The teeth just protruding from that roaring mouth. No uh, clamping down of opening and closing though. Eyes look good though, there's some terror and character in there, so pretty good there. And even that, the slashingness on his chest looks good, those scratches. My previous 2020 Kong is out on assignment, but I do have my 2020 Godzilla v Kong electric one, which was much larger, you can already tell. Watch out, Big Gray. There was a little extra hype back in the day on these with the electronic, uh, oh, what did he do? He made some noises and some friendly sounds. So a little bit larger on the superior electronic Kong, but the giant Kong here has been fun. What's his exact measurements? We are looking at approximately 11, maybe 10 and a half to 11 inches tall. Hey, and Kong just stole my Stanley lever lock. He's kind of construction Kong, right? With that big construction like claw arm. And now he's got my tape measure. A lot of, a lot of screw holes in the back though. You don't want to look too much on that side. But really overall, what a fun giant Kong figure for Godzilla x Kong. Or is it Kong x Godzilla? Well, we'll figure that out in a minute. Next up, shall we bring in the Zilla of God? Godzilla Giant Evolve. Look at this new update on Godzilla. I love the Playmates Godzilla. They do so well. It's always so hulking huge, but not too hulking huge, if that makes sense. It's a good balanced size. This Godzilla featuring a bright salmon? Salmon color? Or I guess you could say red, orange? Pinkish red, scale charge attack. Good reach with this one. I feel like they're giving his arms a little more power there. If I can take that lever lock back from you, Kong. Kong! Okay, got it. Yeah, these arms are about five inches in, in reach, so that's pretty good. Over on the back, more fantastic toy photography going with Godzilla. What a shot. And the same information we read from Kong. So let's say we try to find all the points of tie down on this giant evolved beast. So some assembly required, I was going to have Godzilla use his tail as a crutch, but I, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's get this tail installed, just a simple giant ball joint. So this might be nice for unattaching and reattaching for travel, we'll see. That is a tight ball joint. I've got it attached, but I will say it may unattach quite easily. We'll see what happens. You know it's attached when you get some good movement. You kind of feel it move around. It's got a little bit of articulation place, so kind of get that in there. It is really tight. And we got our Zilla of God ready. Apparently this Godzilla lost some weight. Look at this belly. Been on Ozempic, have you, Godzilla? Lost a ton of belly weight. Interesting. Maybe punched too many times in the gut by Kong? I wonder. Almost reminiscent of 1999 New York Godzilla. Check out from this angle, really thin there. That's interesting. I wonder if he'll be a little more thin down there in the movie or if this is just an action figure like stance. He might be kind of lunging forward and pulling forward and maybe even breathing in, charging up the scales. That could be why. I like it though, I'm not saying I hate it. I think it's kind of cool. Sometimes he gets a little bit too lumbery, so that works for me. And with that reduced belly, again, you get a little more arm reach. I think that's why I'm feeling like these arms are just reaching out more than being those T-Rex little forearms you sometimes get. This time, they just feel like they can reach out and attack. This giant evolved figure, I like. I like this. this is a different approach from Playmates. Articulation in there, I do not believe we can open and close mouth. Oh, stand corrected, you can just a tiny bit. So that's a good deal. And a pretty good little face. These Godzillas are so big, his head always comes out small. But opening and closing jaws, I like that little bit there. Arms again on rotation points, and they reach around pretty well. Uh, they will get kind of maybe 180'd up there by his back, but you've got some reach. No wrist movement, even though there are some seams there. Hip movement, probably about 25 degrees. You can kind of get either a standing forward run or a back on hind legs type of thing. And again, back to that ball joint in the tail. The rest of the tail continues on at a seam point here, painted instead of the clear plastic as it goes towards the back. 
I like it though, it's different enough from 2020 Godzilla, so it makes it worth the find. And we'll see that one in just a second. Let's check his height real quick. We've got a figure that is almost 12 inches in height, maybe about 11 and a half again. Oh, going from tail to head though, we're at about 21 and a half inches in, in length there. So pretty large Zilla. Now I have the previous Godzilla from 2020 right here. Boom, boom, look at there. You could see a little more full in the waist there. This Godzilla was well fed. A little more blue, uh, standing I would say just almost a little shorter than this new guy. So you can totally see there's enough difference between these two to really warrant picking up another one if you're a super fan of the Zilla God. This one a little more blue, a little more traditional, whereas the one in the back a little more fireful. And also to quickly compare with the giant electronic Zilla. A little bit taller with that series, it had an extra inch or so in height. But you can kind of see this one is radically different than what we're traditionally seeing. And unfortunately, there's always one side of Godzilla or Kong in the Playmates verse that have a lot of screw holes. It's kind of can't be undone in a way. They could put little caps on it, I suppose. They sometimes do it. So you kind of got to not look from that side. He, he has a better Tom Cruise side over on this side. That's his Tom Cruise side. So if you're looking for a really cool fiery tail, fiery backplated Zilla, this one was pretty fun. A little bit slimmed in the waist. Makes it easier to grab on for sure. So look out for that, but man, I think he's menacing enough to really terror and team up with Kong. Oh, and we'll get to the smaller figures at some point, but you can kind of see here, this smaller figure was also on Ozempic. So that looks to be the style of the Zilla here. Uh, a thinner, a thinner waistline. All right, Godzilla, thank you for stopping by. Let's check out who you're gonna be fighting in Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. And that would be the giant Scar King with Whiplash. So Scar King has some interesting things going for him. Not as exciting as say Mecha Godzilla, but still pretty kind of terrifying with that Whiplash orthopedic back brace he's using. When you're sleeping for some time, you're gonna need something to help spring you back into life. And that Whiplash back brace will sure help me do that. Good paint, a little bit orangish red with some tribal like scarring going through him. Gonna be interesting. And what's celebrated over on the back of this one? Ooh. Again, great toy photography from Playmates in front of a volcano, the Scar King is. Pretty much the same information of all three boxes. They just did so well with the packaging. It stands out, this color. The way the fuchsia and blue go, they stand out right into your face. Okay, Scar King, let's find your binds and get you out. And out you go, you big baby. Hmm, this dude is also pretty thin. Hasn't had a sandwich in a long time, I'm thinking. Maybe Godzilla X Kong has some marketing partnerships with some weight loss companies this summer. We'll see Weight Watchers Scar versus Ozempic Godzilla and Big Mac Kong. Kong still seems to have a tummy. So Scar here looking a little bit thinned down for a villain fight. Not as menacing as Mecha Godzilla. Or even King Ghidorah was also crazy cool, but I think this one will appear on screen a little bit better than so far in figure form. Just a little bit tall, not as wide and, and hunky and heavy plastic. I feel like he's maybe a half or maybe a quarter less in weight than the other two. Good thing he has this whiplash device though. Let's see if we can, um, I think it's still attached to his body somehow. Um, I think it's coiled around right now as an orthopedic back brace, I like to call it. And I think this should, there we go. Oh, that is a Kongly noise if I've ever heard one scar. Nothing scary more than the pop of a uh, articulated skull whip. Okay, so we'll place this whip in where? Just here? I got a little bit of a string stuck. Hang on, hang on. Get this arm reached out a little bit and we'll grab it in here. Okay, trying to stand here, trying to stand. Finding a balance point with this one, not so good. He wants to either heel forward or heel backwards. Those feet could have been bigger. Trying to use the whiplash as a cane, as a third point, a tripod point, almost, almost. 
there. You know what he really reminds me of? Those bodies, those bodies in motion, those like peeled skinned human sculptures that are on display scientifically where they remove your skin and you see what's underneath the muscles and the whiteness of the skeleton. I see that in this guy moving around. I'm not gonna be able to unsee that now, sorry. So he's very sadly thin. I think Godzilla and Kong are just gonna beat this guy down pretty easily if he's this thin. Yeah, he's got that long whipping spine of a whiplash, but I just, I just don't see him very powerful yet. Probably out of the three figures, the most articulated though, that's a good thing. So we've got head rotation up top and it is, look at that, it has a little bit of a ball in there so you can kind of look down and up. I wish they had done that more with Kong. We've got shoulders that reach out and rotate, elbows that reach out and rotate, wrists that should turn. We've got an upper torso that does some great movement, some great positioning. If you can get him to stand and hold those positions, uh, that would be a fantastic pose right there. That is fantastically awesome looking. And then we've got hip that has some hinges there for kicking out and reaching and knees again and good knees with this one. A little more movement than Kong had. And look at this uh, whip, whiplash. Oh, oh, I'm sorry squirrels. This whip is really quite dangerous. It's got, it's got some, uh, it's rubbery and it's got, you know, ouch. Don't hit your cousin with that. Cousin's gonna hate you. So I, I employ you to be very nice with your, uh, with your whiplash on this guy. But you can see I'm struggling to stand him, unfortunately. And that's because the feet, the footprint is just too small, not flat enough. Okay, okay. Oh, if I can just reach my hand through here, I have to just reach slowly without tipping, tipping, tipping. I got it. And so, wow. You know, if you really play, you can get this guy to stand. So an interesting giant. Uh, is he as menacing as a Mecha Godzilla? It's hard to say, but he's certainly not as menacing as a bewilder beast. <laughs> All right, let's get these three together. Who did we see today in the Giants? Together with the three, you can kind of support each other. You can use this whiplash as a stand over Zilla there. And Kong can ring sucker punches into his back now. That's why they need the teamwork together. Godzilla will keep Scar occupied as the sucker punches commence. Of course, Scar will just swing on over and, and give a flip to Godzilla, getting it really stuck into his scales. Godzilla will rebound a little bit and then he'll hook around. That's a good, good find there. More sucker punches. More sucker punches going in here. But at this point, Godzilla can just charge up and give Scar a, just a beautiful back rub. <gasps> He'll just really rub that back, help him out with that orthopedic problem he's got with his spine. And eventually, they'll get all tied up like this. Once that happens, the real Titan comes in, Squirrelzilla, who then charges up his beam and attacks, and then really causes problems as he takes Scar and uses Scar's whole body and Scar's whip as a full super weapon on poor Godzilla and then down on poor Kong. And then once they're defeated, we have to run as fast as we can because Zilla Squirrel sees us and is now going in to get us. Good knowing you guys. So those are the big three giants of Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire Playmates toys, fantastically done. And we'll check out a few more, a few more Godzilla items. We'll go through some of the smaller scale figures upcoming, so stay tuned for that. And there's some impressive masks too. Maybe we'll throw those in and share on a short. Those are looking fun. So lots of great things for the new Empire hitting the shelves in 2024. Join along and continue as we explore those on Monster Squirrel Island. So there you go, Godzilla vs. Kong, the new empire. Are you a superior squirrel watcher is what I'm asking this month here in January 2024. Put in the comments, I'm a superior squirrel watcher. I'm keeping note of everyone who's putting that comment down. The official rules are not really there yet, so watch out. I don't know what's going on. 
but you might just win a t-shirt from Squirrel Stampede. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm just checking if you are a superior squirrel watcher. If you liked today's video, please give us a squack, squirrel live, squamit, your favorite new Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire Beast of Magic. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.